Once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, especially those who are also joining us in our live streaming. Do you want to know the secret of God? Do you want to know how to unlock the secrets of God? Or do you want to open, to unlock, to open the heart of God? The password is childlike. If you want to unlock the secret of God, embrace a childlike attitude. That is the password that Jesus shares to us in our gospel for today. As Jesus says, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. In the Tagalog translation, mas makakarelate tayo, mas naintindihan natin, sabi doon, Pinupuri kita, Ama, Panginoon ng langit at lupa, dahil inilihim mo ang mga katotohanan ito sa mga taong akala sa sarili ay maruluno at matatalino. Pero inihayag mo sa mga taong tulad ng bata na kaunti lamang ang nalalaman. Many of us think because we are all-knowing, intelligent, powerful, great, rich, and famous, we can know God better or we can unlock the secret of God and be like God. Kaya nga maraming gustong maging Diyos dito sa mundo natin ngayon dahil sila ay powerful, famous, rich, intelligent. But interestingly, Jesus revealed to us today in our gospel that the true password, if you want to unlock the secrets of God, then learn the attitudes of a child. Be childlike. That is the password. And one of the beautiful attitudes of a child is humility. The best way to know God is be humble. Humility. And the greatest obstacle is pride. Jesus rejoices that the Father has decided to reveal Himself to the little ones and not to the proud or arrogant. God has always despised the arrogance. You know, if you are so proud, proud of ourselves, our achievements, our intelligence, and even for us, we are sometimes proud of our status in life, we fall to self-dependence or and false confidence. We fall to this attitude, self-dependence and self-confident, false confidence. And this will lead us to think we don't need God anymore. It can even lead us to believe that we can control everything and do anything we want. And the worst of it is we try to rationalize or justify all the teachings of Jesus in order to fit to what we believe and to what we want to do. In short, my dear brothers and sisters, kung proud ka, arogantika, ka, mayabang ka, tingin mo sa sayong sarili, matalino ka, ang resulta nito ang tingin natin sa ating sarili, Diyos. We act like gods. We think we are gods in the world. At dahil ting sa tingin natin sa ating sarili, tayo ay mga Diyos, we abuse others. We abuse our environment. We dom dominate or control other people. I am powerful. I am great. We treat others indifferently. And we keep pulling others down because we want to be higher than others. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, if we have this attitude, our arrogance and pride, this keep us away from the love and knowledge of God. This blocks our minds to God's truth and wisdom. That is why Jesus maintains that access to the Father is granted not so much to the proud and intelligent, but to those who approach God in humility, with trust and openness, like a little child. For true humility and openness of heart 
can lead us to love, to the love and knowledge of God. Ang ating pagpapakumbaba, ang ating pagbubukas ng ating puso sa Diyos, doon natin malalaman ang sekreto ng Diyos. Doon natin matatanggap ang biyaya ng Diyos. Remember this, childlike simplicity and humility is the soil in which the grace of God can take root. Childlike simplicity and humility is the soil in which the grace of God can take root. That like a trusting chil- children to his parents, he or she depends not on his capacity, but on the goodness, the love, and the generosity of his parents. Sabi nga sa Proverbs 3 verse 34, God opposes the proud, but give grace to the humble. Give grace to the humble. Brothers and sisters, if we have this attitude in our life, for sure the grace of God, the blessing of God, the wisdom of God will grow in our life. We feel that even in our vulnerability, even in our weakness, we have strength. We are complete because God is always with us. It is God who empowers us. It is God who enlightens us to know everything. It is God who gives us wisdom to know the truth. It is God who gives us all what we need, even more than what we expect, because God's wisdom is always beyond our human wisdom. Our God is full of surprises, and even our Father in Heaven is full of generosity to us, His beloved children. My dear sisters and brothers in our Mass today, we asked for the grace not to consider ourselves wise and intelligent before God. But we humble ourselves like a little child with openness and with, that, with trust that we are willing to listen and learn to our loving Father, to open our hearts to be surprised to what God wants us to do, to what God, wants, what, what God is offering us in our day-to-day life. We pray that the arrogance in us, the pride in us, will be replaced with the soil of humility, with the soil of trusting children to our loving Father in heaven. That's why our beautiful prayer this morning in our Mass today, the prayer for serenity. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. May we all be worth it to call God as our Abba, our Father, by the way we behave as His loving children. And from that, we can unlock the heart of God and, in he- and even inherit the kingdom of God. Remember Jesus' words, In Matthew 8, verse 3, Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen.